What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Nephew Gaming. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys a new method that I just found to actually be able to keep making money passively, quickly in the club without having to keep doing all these long ass uh, popularity missions with the VIPs and the limo. And also, you could also use this to avoid having to do any promote the club missions at all. And this way you can keep your popularity in the club up, making 50000 a day in the game on GTA 5 online. So if this is the type of video you want to watch, stick around for the whole video, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's get started on the video. All right, so normally the way this works is you have a club, you bought a club. In order to maintain a club, you have to do all these missions to promote the club. You know, you have to go around and keep the club popularity up. If the popularity gets really low, then you don't make the money that the club is supposed to make. Now, this is the money that the club makes through the safe, the passive income that the club makes from just being a popping club. Now, this is also not has this, this method has nothing to do with like the biker gang and all of the businesses and anything that's going on in the basement. Even though we will be using the basement to make this method work, you won't be. This has nothing to do with the income from there. This is everything to do just with the money that's in the safe that comes in the 50K per day. Because you guys know that if you don't actually keep the club popularity up, then the actual money that you make per day from the club will actually decrease over time. All right. So that's something you want to make sure of that you keep the popularity of the club up. So let's go ahead and talk about what the actual method is and what it actually does and why it's so dope, dope and why it works. Okay, so normally I go AFK in the office and I watch the security cam for the DJ in order to actually, you know, uh, make my money while I'm not playing the game. I actually can go do other things or, you know, go work on other stuff and then I can come back and then I made the money. But usually when you come back after so long, the club popularity is down. Now, there's a couple ways to get that back up. You can either go do these missions or you can do these. You can do missions where you go fly blimps and, you know, it take like 30 minutes, 20 minutes to do those missions. It's time consuming and it'll help you get your boost your club back up. Or you could even rebook the DJ and try to get the club to boost back up. But all of that is not as compared to this method, because this method right here will actually speed you up and actually cause you to get the club popularity up quickly. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you ever notice that, you know, Marcel, the bodyguard, uh, hit you up and say, hey, you know, dude is doing such and such. We need to kick him out or we need to dude is drunk. We need to take him home. So what we don't want to do is the VIP missions with the dude that's actually drunk. We don't want to take him. So what we do is hop in the elevator anytime Marcel tells you to go take somebody home. And when he says things like, yeah, this is something you can deal with yourself. As soon as you come back up the elevator and you approach the stairs, you can trigger Marcel to message you again and tell you who, you know, what to do. Now, I've been able to get this to re-trigger multiple times, even if they already told you to take somebody home or to do something like. So I'm going to show you right here in the video. You see how we got Marcel to tell me to take this VIP home. He's sleeping in the room right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the elevator. And what we're going to do is go downstairs. And as soon as we get downstairs, we're going to take the, you know, it doesn't matter which basement level you do. You can go to basement one, basement two. You just want to lead the club. Technically, this loads up a different screen, loads up a different area. So it causes it to totally reset. And then what you do is go back up to the nightclub and then it reloads the nightclub. And then the actual mission to actually take the VIP home in the limo, that mission should be totally gone. Now, to make sure you got to run back to the stairs. And as soon as you make it up halfway up the stairs, you should get Marcel to text you again. And when he texts you again this time, it should show a dot. That now this means you can just kick somebody out the club. You don't necessarily have to take somebody back. Um, now you can see that the dude is not laying here on the bed anymore. And for the most part, let's go ahead and see what happened. Now, sometimes it doesn't work, right? So you come back up and moves the guy and he still asks you to take somebody home. And now this time the dude was in the VIP section. So I say, okay, cool. Went back downstairs. And then turn around, go back upstairs, and then we try to what we're trying to do is trigger Marcel to send you a text message telling you to just kick somebody out the club instead of having to do a whole mission where you drive slow 
you know, you're driving slow in the limo, trying to take people home. It's, it, it just take all day to do that. So go back up the stairs again. It's, it's like a couple of times you might have to try it before you get it to work. But once you get it to work, then you can actually go ahead and kick them out. And then um, you can move on with the with the actual, you know, the actual mission. So in this case, I actually got it to work and he's actually out here by the truck. So I didn't have to go into the club. He was actually in the loading bay. So we can run up to this guy. It shouldn't be no reason why you can't like just approach him and then throw him out. Now, this this method should save you a ton of um, a ton amount of time because, you know, now that I just threw him out. So you can see the club popularity is increased. And then what happens now is not only that, but you also get paid every time you throw them out. OK, so right when you throw them out, you actually get more money. So they give you some, you know, five figures like 10, I think it's between 10 and 12 K you get for actually kicking them out. Um, and then, you know, so then you could pretty much, what I would do is like, like I said, to trigger this to keep happening, to get your club popularity to go up, is I would literally just keep going back and to the elevator and then triggering him to do it. Yeah, because this, this, this right here, make it where you can cut back on the time it take for him to message you, text you. Like I said, every time you go out, and it resets. Now, it is true that when your club popularity is really, really low, I don't think there's like VIPs there or anybody to even take home in the first place. So it kind of does become tricky to get your thing up. So if you let your club popularity get really low, then this trick really kind of don't work because he's never texting you in the first place to tell you what to do. So you kind of need to make sure you keep your popularity above that half mark for this trick to work. So don't don't let your club even get low popularity in the first place. You know what I mean? Like you want to make sure the club just pretty much stays packed and stays popping. All right. So if you like this video, hit that like button, drop a comment below. Let me know if it worked for you. Let's get it. Let's make this money in GTA 5. Make sure you subscribe.